Hi YouTube, this is Janet S1120 with a root video on this, on the candle fire, which I think I could get, which I'll show you how, and this is how it will be with, after you're done, Jelly Bean 4.2.2, but you'll have, you can see this not, what's it called, any... You can see everything's changed. I have it says 4.3.1 that I'll show you how you can change that in a different video. And see, then you have Cyanogen Mod version 10.1, and you can see. So, and I'll also show you how to do that in a second video, but this is just I'll show you the basic root how to root a Kindle Fire, which is here. This is, I know most people don't like this Amazon. UI with the first candle and if you haven't I was hesitate hesitated with rooting my candle and I just this randomly I was bored and I just decided to do it since I mostly used my phone I was bored maybe if it broke unfortunately it and it did not it'll be fine to me because I have a phone but it went successful so I'll show you how so first you want to click you want to download the files that will be in the link in the description and you want to once you do that here's the files Kindle Fire Utility version 0.9.9 Sign in Jamad 10.1 20 11 0 7, oh, July 9th 1241 otter slash sg7 and then g apps g apps gb slash 20 11 2011 i don't know why it says 2011 but i don't know i think it's for android version 4. Point, it's for android 4.2 and i think in this thing right here change your next but you don't need this. I don't know. I tried. I did it on here, but nothing comes up. So I don't know what's that for. But first, you want to unzip the Kindle Fire utility once you download it. And once you unzip it, you will have here. You want to install drivers. Press yes. And once the drivers are installed, but since mine are already installed, it will. It, once your drivers are installed, I'll show you next. So, once they're installed, it will take probably a couple minutes or so. But since I already installed it, it will. It only takes like thirty seconds, only a few seconds. Now, hook your Kindle Fire to your computer, like by with a micro USB cord. And I'm just going to and you want you wait for your Kindle to show up on your computer. So click here. I'm gonna see if my Kindle showed up, which has. Now you want to click run, double click, and it's running Kindle Fire Utility, and okay, so now you see we have boot menu, mode menu, stall, clockwork mod recovery, TWRP recovery, extras, requires root, and if you want to say if you don't like TW or the other one of the other, you install this, you just press permanent root, and then it does everything else. So I'm going to click 2 for a permanent root, and we're going to click enter. And it's activating the device into fast boot mode. And as you can see, it's installing fire FFF, which stands for fire, fire, fire. Your device has been Kindle put into fast boot mode. You should notice your Kindle is as... You can just let this run. 
because we're going to let this run until it says finishing and it's rebooting itself. And you just want to let this and it's going to install super user. Just let the device run. The computer run its stuff. And once you install Cyanogen, when in the second video, we'll be installed and install Cyanogen mod 10.1 with GApps 4.2.2. And this is how to root Kindle Fire. Again, if you haven't, version 6.3.2. So, I haven't seen any videos when I, since I haven't seen any videos. I searched on YouTube, and there's no videos I searched that say on how to root Kindle Fire 6.3.2. When I do that, so then on, I saw it's the same way as, what's it called? And here's the boot up screen, just to show you on the... Here, this is the boot up screen when you have your Kindle. It could be a little off centered sometimes because that's how it is sometimes. I don't know why, but it doesn't matter. It's just a boot animation. But you really want to use your Kindle for your Google Play, like a Nexus. If this Kindle, if there was a way to put a camera and a mic, like a front camera and possibly a back camera and a mic, it would be a perfect tablet. Because not the pixel is not the best, but. Now you can see it's installing super user. And root installed, press any key continue. And then we are done. See, that wasn't that long. So now we can see right at our candle here. Be swiped away. And you can see super user. That means we have been rooted. And now you can have do whatever you want with the device but in the next video I'll show you how to root now to, how to install and now how to install what's it um CyanogenMod 10.1 with the G apps in the next video thanks for watching please comment rate, and subscribe until next time bye